In this video, we'll delve into the world of financial literacy tailored specifically for women. Financial empowerment is crucial for everyone. We're here to ensure that women have the knowledge and tools they need to take control of their financial futures. Whether you're just starting your financial journey or looking to level up your financial game, this video will offer practical tips, advice, and resources to help you achieve your financial goals. Did you know that right now only one-third of people worldwide are financially literate? Yeah, it's a real eye-opener. And get this, women are three times more likely than men to feel like they can't save up for retirement. Not to mention, they're rocking lower rates of financial literacy. In fact, in a study from 2022, women answered only 45% of those financial questions, while men answered 55% of them. It's not just a one-time thing either. Multiple studies show that women often lag behind men in financial know-how. That puts them at a bit of a disadvantage when it comes to handling their money and securing their financial future. Financial literacy is a big deal for women, especially since, on average, they're making about 16% less than their male counterparts working full-time. In 2023, women's average weekly earnings for full-time work were $996 while men pulled in $1,186. And guess what? Women are more likely to clock in part-time hours compared to men. The Institute for Women's Policy Research dropped a surprising fact, too. The gender pay gap actually shrunk for the first time since 2007. But hold on, equal pay is still a distant dream, with researchers predicting it will not happen for another 43 years. Sad, right? And as more women enter the workforce, making up 47% of workers, up from 38% in 1970, they're also more likely to take breaks for family duties and live longer. Yeah, women typically outlive men, with a woman's average lifespan hitting 86.6 years compared to a man's 84.3 years. But here's the sad part. Despite all that, they retire with just over half the superannuation as men. It's a tough life earning less, saving less, and living longer while dealing with the same living expenses as men. So what's the solution? Financial literacy. It's the key to making informed decisions, crafting sustainable budgets, and managing money like a boss. It boosts confidence, sharpens negotiation skills, and helps women reach their financial goals. Now, let's talk about how women can level up their financial gain. First, budgeting. It's like the foundation of financial literacy. You will need to keep a track record of your income and expenses and lay out a plan for saving and spending. Try to keep three to six months worth of living expenses in a high yield savings account for emergencies. Once you start drawing the line and distinguishing between needs and wants, tackling debt becomes much easier. And hey, there are tons of apps to assist you, like YNAB, you need a budget, and Empower Personal Dashboard. Now let's tackle the big question of investing. First, you need to understand the basics of investing. Diversify your investments across various asset classes to play it safe. We're talking about stocks, bonds, real estate, commodities, and even alternative options like cryptocurrency, crowdfunding, hedge funds, private equity, and venture capital. If you're short on funds, dip your toes into the stock market with index funds or exchange-traded funds, ETFs, for a relatively low-risk shot at diversification. Remember, all investment strategies carry some level of risk, so having a financial planner on board to guide you is a smart move. The ultimate purpose of doing all this is financial independence. It is important so you don't need to depend on anyone in old age. For women, planning for retirement is crucial due to longer lifespans. With challenges like the wage gap and fewer resources, women often face the risk of poverty in old age. Look into funding options for retirement and make sure your insurance game is strong, especially if you have a family and a mortgage. Superannuation funds or the guidance of a financial planner can set you on the right track. Now, managing debt like a pro is also very important. Skip unnecessary debt, look for reasonable interest rates, and focus on paying out high interest ones first. Explore different sources like banks, credit unions, crowdfunding, and short-term lending companies. Just be sure to read the fine print and know what you're signing up for. Lastly, let's talk about the financial literacy resources. Stay up to date by reading financial news, attending workshops, and keeping up with the latest trends. And for some solid reads, check out these books. 
On My Own Two Feet, A Modern Girl's Guide to Personal Finance by Manisha Thakur and Sharon Kadar. You are a badass at making money, master the mindset of wealth by Jen Sincero. Defining Wealth for Women, Peace, Purpose and Plenty of Cash by Bonnie Koo. By diving into these practical steps, you're not just enhancing your financial literacy, but you're contributing to a broader movement of women taking control of their financial destinies. Women have been rocking it as entrepreneurs in every field for ages, dealing with all kinds of economic and business pressures like total bosses. Now, let's draw inspiration from some incredible success stories of women who have not only achieved financial independence, but have left an indelible mark on their financial landscapes. Xin Shang, the powerhouse behind Soho China. Started back in 1995, she took this company to be one of China's biggest prime office developers with a whopping 60 million square feet in Beijing and Shanghai. They call her the woman who built Beijing for her bold collaborations with international architects. Fun fact, she used to be a factory worker and now she's got a $2.8 billion fortune after working at Goldman Sachs and launching her company. Kiran Mazumdar Shah Kiran is the richest self-made Indian woman with a net worth of $4.1 billion. She's the brain behind Biocon, a major player in the biopharma scene. Started from a rented shed and now it's India's biggest listed biopharma. The company went public in 2004, hitting $1 billion on its first trading day. Janice Bryant Howroyd Janice, the founder and CEO of the Act One Group, made history as the first black woman to pull in over $1 billion in annual revenue. This employment agency and consultancy based in Los Angeles has over 17,000 clients in 33 countries. She kicked off this gig in 1978 with just $1,500. Forbes even listed her in America's richest self-made women for 2022. Oprah Winfrey from co-anchoring the evening news at 19 years old to creating a media empire, Oprah has become a household name and her story is a testament to what is possible when you're willing to take risks, work hard and never give up. Oprah, the queen of media and entertainment has a net worth of $2.6 billion. She hosted her talk show till 2011, then created the multinational cable network OWN. Oprah Winfrey Network and co-founded Oxygen Media, a cable station. Sarah Blakely. Sarah, the genius behind Spanx, an undergarments brand for men and women, started with $5,000 and a dream, faced several rejections until Oprah gave her the nod. Now Spanx is in 50 plus countries and Sarah is worth over $1 billion, making her part of the top 10 most successful women entrepreneurs. She's not just about fashion. She teamed up with Global Giving to launch the Red Backpack Fund giving thousands of $5,000 awards to women entrepreneurs during the 2020 economic hiccup. Katie Rodan and Kathy Fields The dynamic duo behind Rodan and Fields started with Proactive in 1995, conquering acne. Now, they're ruling the anti-aging skincare scene. Each is worth $530 million, and Forbes called them one of America's richest self-made women in 2022. Ann Bowden a 62-year-old Welsh wonder who went from corporate climber to digital bank maven. Starling Bank, her brainchild, is worth a cool 2.5 billion pounds, making her net worth around 125 million pounds. Now, here's the cool part. Financial literacy played a crucial role in helping all these women take control of their finances, achieve their financial goals, and establish a solid foundation for their future financial security. Guess what? You can do it too. These stories shout loud and clear. With grit, financial knowledge, and a bit of planning, you can own your financial freedom. The power? It's right there in your hands. Ready to rewrite your financial story? It's all possible, and it starts with getting the right knowledge. So here's your invitation. Subscribe to our channel for more financial education content, and let's embark on this empowering journey together. Also, don't forget to share your valuable thoughts in the comments section below. See you in the next video. Until then, stay tuned.